Uh, the perfect opening scenario that's what you want for an opening sequence i know we already did like we started kez entry on the channel um but i decided that i wanted to start again i wanted to restart it um because i hate doing that i hate starting a let's play and then coming back to it later on and then i have no idea what was going on and i've forgotten the controls and all sorts so we're just going to start a new game today and we're just going to restart this let's play You will not stop me! Run! Ah! Understood! and punish them. <laughs> I will follow you as soon as I am able to. Run! Run! Don't let it be for nothing. You must live on. <sighs> You had fulfilled your dream. You were wrong. Your dream ends here forever. I know this shrine well. I suspect better than anyone. Dreams are reality. Reality is like the dream of a butterfly. But then, in chaos, neither dreams nor reality exist. There is no destiny.
Ravenous flames. Deadly, purified flames. I've been here before. At my very first battle. The princess is not in this village! Widen the search! If we don't find her, Lordy Magawa is sure to have our heads! Jumping into a raging fire like that, how foolish can you be? Guard, huh? The rest is up to you. Come now! Can't you even protect one little girl? Ugh. You call yourself a man? Stop it. This is our world. Okay? Worthless people fight and die for worthless ambition. did this cannot be barred. We will search them out and punish them! You must not. You're still young. You must not put yourself in such danger. Don't concern yourself with that. Let's go! My lord! <laughs> This'll be fun. I, I will do my best as well. Idiots. The little fools don't know the first thing about fighting. Let's go! Indeed, let's go. Will you view the battle tutorial? Do I want to view the battle? We've already kind of done it, but uh, in the previous one, which sort of a restarting, let's do it. Since this is your first battle, let me give you some advice. So move with analog or directional buttons, move in speed increases when going downhill, decrease when going uphill or when traversing difficult areas, and move in speed is affected by troop type. And when you collide with the enemy, use speed to your advantage and always keep your positioning in mind. Use the radar in the upper right corner to check the terrain and your current position. Let's go! We only have one unit. In this um, first fight, Battle of Kira C is do we have the name? No, we can't currently take that. Action. This is the Battle of Kira C Kira Seashore. As you move your unit, your formation begins to break down. Unit defense decreases as your unit's formation breaks down, so be careful. When you press the L1 button, your soldiers will take up guard and simultaneously restore their formation. Look at the formation indicator in the upper left corner to check the status. This icon will be blue, with a proper formation, and as it breaks down, it moves to red. So right now we're in blue, so we're good. My lord, the enemy rearguard is ahead. The battle will begin soon. The enemy rearguard, let's take them down. Square button is the attack button. You can attack up to four times consecutively. The fourth attack, if it does hit, will throw back the enemy. Use the triangle button in conjunction with the square button to launch a break attack. With a break attack, you can weaken the enemy's defense and break their ranks, breaking down a formation. Let's go. This first fight isn't too bad at all with Imagawa Lieutenant. You can also charge up and we can... I, I, I was, I, I'll beat you to it, game, just a little bit. By storing energy, holding in the triangle button, we can unleash units' powerful troop skills. The type of skill you can use varies with each troop type, and each skill's power varies with the strength of each troop type. You can change direction while storing en 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 energy, so make sure to aim correctly. And if the enemy attacks you while you're storing en energy, you will take considerable damage. With careful timing, you can also unleash critical attacks. These are the three types of critical attacks. Halt, Close Quarters, and Counter-Offensive. Each type of critical attack does considerable damage to the enemy. 
so what we just done there was we done the troop skill that the horseman unit has, which was to charge. And that was a break attack where the horse people uh, jumped up into the enemy formation. And we won. It's not that bad um, a start. So up here we've got fortifications. An excellent decision, my lord. In battle, you have to be aware of more than just the enemy. So we've got um, obstacles in our way. You'll find enemy guard towers and fences scattered across the battlefield. Attack and destroy them just the same way you would do, do an enemy unit. Sometimes you need to destroy obstacles and sometimes enemies will be shooting at you while you're trying to destroy them. So it's quite a pain. We want to obviously move as far away from that tower as we can and break through an undefended area. Save our men. And if we go to the right here, on the battlefield you will not find only enemy soldiers but useful items and people who will provide you with information as well. If you have the time, it might be worthwhile to try sending your unit to all corners of the map. That is actually true because you can find some very good things from doing this. Um, for instance, we're going to... Currently I can't take this action, that's a pain. I was going to raise Nobunaga's troop strength, but... Hey ho! Not troop strength, troop speed. So if we come down here, down this river, we can find our first item. I don't... We got a Bind Primer, which... Basically what that does is there's a skill called Bind in this game, which officers can have. And the Bind Primer basically allows an officer that's not trained in Bind to use Bind. What does Bind do? That's as far as my knowledge goes, I'm afraid. I don't remember what Bind does specifically. But the main difference that we're going to have with this run through of the game, compared to my last one where I only got five episodes in, is that well, we're going to finish the game. And... I'm going to be getting um, S ranks because once you get an S rank, oh, we've got another Imagawa lieutenant. The there are many, and they look strong, I must say. Do they? Sometimes you will be outnumbered. At all costs, do not allow yourself to be surrounded. If you find yourself losing a temporary retreat. It's always an option while pressing the square buttons, X button, sorry, use the left analog stick to cease fighting and retreat. Use retreat when you want to quickly regroup your forces, but be careful your defense will decrease. We aren't going to retreat. I'm just going to charge straight into them and just start. So we have Yoshinari Miura, an actual officer. When you are caught in an unfavourable situation, officer skills can give you the extra push you need to get free. Your officers have a large variety of officer skills at their disposal, from supportive abilities to offensive abilities that deal direct damage. You can display a full list of the officer skills you can use by pressing the circle button. Defeat the enemy and destroy the fenced in enemy encampment to win. So if we open up the skills, so see at the top left you see Nobunaga's name, you see how many troops he's got left, how his formation, and to the left there's four bright yellow squares, or green I can't tell right now because it's darkened. Those are your uses of special skills, so Nobunaga has four uses, so he can use Gale and Rally four times and then they'll run out and then I think they gradually replenish, but well, we obviously want to use Rally right now. Time to show the strength of the Oda. So we can increase our attack strength and then just dominate. Let's get our formation back in order actually. There we go, Yoshinari Muir is dead. As well as the Imagawa Lieutenant. Now we are supposed to defeat no, it doesn't matter if we defeat Yasutomo or Asahina. Our goal here is to yeah, destroy the encampment. And what's this? Ah. Nobunaga, the time for you to die has come. Well, you're very confident in yourself. Oh! 
But anyway, let's do we yeah, let's use Rally again. Press the attack. Then let's charge. That wasn't very well aimed, I'm going to say. Let's try again. Much better. Yasutomo is in trouble. So what you notice is even though he's going down to like 400 troops, his actual troops on screen don't go down. It's more like the health of those troops that he's got. So it's more like an HP bar than a troop count, which is kind of annoying. So in order to finish off the level, we want to destroy this encampment. But before you do that, make sure to grab this. Is that what I wanted to grab? I thought there was something else. I was sure there was something else. Oh yeah, there is down there. See? Come down here and we can grab this. Which is another item. And it is a wooden war fan. That's an accessory that we can use, so let's destroy this. Thank um oh yeah, one hat, nice. My skills are second to none. Celebrate! Victory is ours! And here we go, will you review an explanation of the battle summary? Yes, let's go. The battle summary to four parts, officers defeated, um, battle evaluation, spoils and experience earned. So this first one displays a list of the important officers you defeated. The total officers defeated represents the total number of destroyed enemy units, so like lieutenants and stuff like that but only named units like the commander guy will be listed here allied officers who participated in the battle receive experience points based on that number so you want to destroy every unit on the screen to get the maximum amount of experience for your guys so we defeated four but only two of them were important Yasutomo Asahina and Yoshinari Miura and here's the important screen the battle evaluation I got an A rank, and I got a Jumanji Spear, and a thousand gold, but I'm not happy with it because I want an S. So what got me there? So this basically describes the result of each battle. Damage to enemy, damage received, troop skills, um, damage by your troop skills. So we do want to retry. What? What? Trip skills is what really brought me down, I think. That's annoying. Right, so BRB. Much better! So I made a lot more use of Nobunaga, because I could, because I had access to it from the start when I retried. So there we go. We got ourselves an air So we still acquired the Jumanji Spear, that's what we acquired for just completing the mission. But in addition, to that, because we got an S rank, we got mounted pole arms. Now these special rewards will be useful going forward, which is why I'm going to be doing S ranks. Destroys the results of each battle. Da -da -da -da, we already know. So I got twenty. So I really did a lot better. I did better on time. I lost barely anyone, and I killed a lot. Um, Troop skill was still only 23, but that's okay because there's barely any enemies on this battle, so. And this, uh, this screen displays the items you acquired, as well as the gold and spoils. So we got the Jumanji Spear, the mounted polearm, which is a unit, um, 
So we can equip that to someone now. Okay, the wooden war fan and the bind primer. So a lot of stuff. Decent. Nobunaga Oda, that's the experience. Nobunaga leveled up twice. Based on number of enemies destroyed, the first unit to attack the enemy, the first unit to defeat an enemy, and the unit that defeats the enemy commander will all receive bonus points. Officers receive skill experience for skills used in battle. Officers equipped with manuals automatically receive skill experience for the specified skills. So we got the bind primer, so I believe the bind primer will automatically give skill experience for bind even if you don't use it. Furthermore, when skill type coincides with another officer class, the officer will receive a bonus. We'll see that later on. Officers also receive experience for the trip type they use in battle. As this experience builds up, trip type ability increases, strengthening the effect of trip type's attacks. Officers participating in battle will gradually go up in rank, and as an officer's rank increases, his total number of troops, i.e. his health bar, will also increase. So that's quite important. Um, so we're going to be stick. We're going to be every officer is going to have his preferred unit type, and we're going to stick to that. So yeah, we're going to save the game. The enemy ranks are starting to crumble. It won't be long before the entire country is ours. <laughs> Don't be a fool. This was nothing but a little skirmish. My lord, it's all your fault. You dress like that and give him stupid ideas. Don't shut up. I'm sick of hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Still, I have to agree with Yoshinari. Fighting insignificant rabble is a waste of time. I'll fight to end the chaos and the fighting. This world will know peace. I swear it! Oh, why that little worried brat. Thanks to him, that little girl from Mino got away from me. How dare he have the gall to interfere with my plans? I shall have to think carefully about how to repay him. Portugal, Spain. The great powers of Europe had entered a period of exploration and expansion. In Japan, both little and great lords joined in battle to decide the fate of their clans. The ruling Ashikaga shogunate lacked the power to control the lords, and in the fighting and plundering, the common people suffered and died. The Warring States. The common people dreamt of a savior, a hero who would save them from the fighting. Owari, this land situated in the center of Japan, was also the center of the fighting. Here, small lords fought for control, while across the border, the larger powers of Saito and Imagawa looked eagerly on for a chance to make it their own. Amidst this cauldron of war, the Oda clan sought to gain powerful allies by arranging the marriage of the legitimate heir, Nobunaga, to the princess of the neighboring Mino, a so-called political marriage. Both parties agreed, and the day of the wedding drew near. They say she's good with a sword. Yes. Apparently, she started learning early. They say she took to it. She is your new bride, but it would pay to be careful. You might wake up without a head someday. My lord, I understand what you're going through. Well, what can you do? She's the daughter of the Viper, after all. Huh? You must move out immediately! The wedding party from Mino is in danger! They were attacked by Nobukiyo Oda! They're in need of help! 
wonderful start this is. Come on, it's time to ride! My lord, the battle does not always go to the strong. Knowing the situation and the lay of the land is vital. Shall I explain the war council to you? All right, allow me to describe the situation. We will win if we defeat the enemy commander. If any of our allies are routed, we will have lost. The enemy commander, Nobukiya Oda, has drawn up his troops in this area. We cannot forgive this attack on our Lord's Bride. They shall pay with their lives. My Lord, how shall we deploy for this battle? That's a good question, one we're going to answer next time. Welcome to the Battle of Inuyama, uh, which will t is another tutorial battle which will show us more things. But let's save this for next episode. Thanks for being here, can't wait for this let's play, and I hope you enjoy as much as I will. See you next time.